expect 70 mile an hour winds, 50 below temperature, train hard, and be committed. It's the ultimate challenge for climbers, reaching the summit of Mount Everest. It's something I will never achieve, but an Edwin woman hopes to be the next adventurer to scale the 29,000 foot peak this spring. Valerie Waddell plans to leave for the Himalayan mountain range in March, and at 52 years old, Waddell is on the upper age limit of people who attempt to climb the world's tallest mountain. The adventure takes a lot of preparation, as you might have guessed, as climbers need to acclimate themselves to the conditions. There are climbs between various camps and elevations below the summit as climbers get used to the thinner air before making the final pitch and the push. If all goes right, Waddell can make her ascent the first or second week of May. Stay tuned. I'm leaving Oklahoma City on March 23rd. I'm going to fly into uh, Kathmandu, and from Kathmandu we take a flight to Luka, which is a, a pretty uh, dangerous flight. I read a lot about that. That's probably the first big hurdle. Um, and then we trek for approximately two and a half weeks to base camp. That's all by foot, surface support. Um, and then there's trekkers with us. They'll turn around and leave, and the climbers will stay at base camp and start what they call rotations up the mountain. And our first rotation is actually going to be on a mountain called Lobuche. It'll be next to Everest. It's a 20,000 foot peak. And we'll do that, spend four or five days at uh, base camp, and then we start our rotation number two. Number three, and then the fourth rotation is Summit. And that'll be sometime around that first or second week in May.